Yeah, then we are ready to take an evening flight. I'm here at my parents' place, uh, one of the most beautiful places uh, that I know and have uh, access to. This is uh, where I grew up as a child. And uh, with the sun setting, currently setting, I thought uh, I would uh, take it for, take the Mavic 2 Pro for a small spin and just check out the, the surroundings here. It's been a long time since the Mavic 2 Pro has been flying around here. So let's just uh, launch the app. So, and also I want to enable the screen recorder. So we have that part as well. So microphone on, start recording. And let's fire it up. So now it's really, really, let's just get everything settled here. I'm not using any filters today, so I need to crank up the aperture. Maybe I should have mounted a filter in here. And I'm using the DC like. I always record the DC like. Let's just fly it out here. So, let's sit here so we can adjust everything. Let's go down here. Uh, up there, there's a building. Could be nice uh, to uh, to check out. So let's just put it like this. This is an interesting uh, concept to test out for me because I'm basically just using uh, the the GoPro here as the audio recorder, and then I have an Osmo Action there. Of course, I have the drone camera up there. So let's just fire that one up. Maybe we shouldn't record in 4K. Let's just set these parameters here. Ah, it's a long time since I've <laughs> since I've been using this drone. I've been flying around with the with the, the Mavic Mini for such a long time. So it's a there's a lot of additional functionality on this drone here. Uh, it's a white balance. It's nice. D log M. Da -da -da. All that is nice. We need to step this one down. I think to 1080p like that and 30 frames because that's the rest of it that's 30 frames then we just crank that one up there so let's start the recording so let's fly over here and take a look there's a harbor small place where they sail boats go to just crank it up in sport mode Ooh. it's not many boats out there right now See, all of them are on the shore, so it's a, uh, I think it will take a while before we get to that point where they actually put it into the water, because of this corona thing. But I guess actually being on the water is one of the safer places, so let's just go a little bit closer. We can do that. So see, they, those are all the boats being prepared. Oh, not being pre prepared, they're actually being <laughs> stored away from the, for the winter. And we really don't have a very tough winter here in uh, Denmark. So it's, uh, they uh, will be laying there on the dock very safely. So let's just back away and just do a nice reveal shot so we can see the city. The city where I grew up, it's up there somewhere. I might need to turn a little bit. So it's at the end of this inlet up there, that's the city where I grew up. So let's just 
move a little bit forward here. Make sure this one is so you can see my hands. But there's much trick flying in this part, so so let's just turn around here and make a second pass on the harbor. And panning the drone that's always difficult to make look very nice. But now we're getting back to the sun. So that's the other way. Here. So let's just adjust the camera a little bit here because I always wanted to check out this part. So let's just go here to the seaside. So this is the harbor. Let's just take this area and fly back. See what's going on here. If uh, some of you like to eat uh, eel, then uh, this is a fantastic place to catch eel in this area. They are uh, lurking around these inlets, like this inlet here. So if you put your stuff, what is, uh, you know, these nets that you use to catch them in here then you have a chance of getting them. I wonder what that is. It's a small island here. Yeah. Oh. Let's just go down and see what it is. Maybe that's and when you do stuff like this, you need to be really careful because you can spot the drone, but you can easily lose it when you're looking up against a, a dark horizon like this. But it sounds like it's a fence or something. Let's go a little bit further down. And then it's a pretty good idea to check your surroundings. Oh, oh, that was the dark one. <laughs> So, there's nothing here that I can collide into. Check the other way. It's pure water. That's fine. So, let's just do a small half circle around this one. Ah, that is... Oh, that's because I'm in sport mode. <laughs> it's difficult. Very difficult to do this when you're in sport mode. So let's just try and just do this. It's such a lovely motion. And, ay, 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 ay. So what I'm trying to do here is to do a manual point of interest. So what I need to do is I need to put this one in the center and then I need to go this way while I turn the drone with the other way. So it's something like this. This is my one of my signature moves. I really love that one. It does look pretty nice when you uh, put it on video. So, let's see. I mentioned this is the place where I grew up, so maybe we should just take a trip here across the lake. This is uh, the neighbor of my father and mom's place. They have a nice little bridge here with a boat, like a speedboat. And because we are neighbors, we are living somewhere over here. We also have a boat, but now it's currently it's on a boat trailer, so it can just be drawn into the water. And what you probably will see when you get over here is that I'm sitting here on the porch. This is such a really a pretty place to sit and enjoy the weather. 
So I'm down here somewhere. <laughs> so let's let's just try and do uh, one of these really dirty moves. Dirty moves. So we just to watch out for the birds. So we just go down here, place ourselves, maybe. Ah, maybe that's too low. I don't know. But flying close to surfaces that uh, makes a, it makes it a lot more interesting. Uh, the the whole uh, stuff here. But you need to make sure that you don't collide with anything. So let's. Uh, so if I fly, I would actually go as far as. Oh, let's just back off. The drone is right now. 3.5 meters across uh, above the the water so let's just move it up to five meters i think i would feel more comfortable doing that then position the sun like this maybe we could go a little bit in like that so look at that that's a pretty nice scene and then we switch it into a sport mode like that and then just punch it bishop oh what happened to the drone and to the So when we replay a clip like that, it's it's supposed to look pretty nice. Let's just do one here. Just back off here and and it's really stupid to <laughs> to fly in sport mode, sport mode backward. So let's just. I know I'm so high, so I would, would probably not collide with anything, but still, it is pretty stupid to do that. So let's just position ourselves in a way here so we can do another really nice move. And that is if we use the boat as an example, we put it down to, to a normal position hold. Then we just fly this way and then we tilt the gimbal at the same time. Look at this, look at this. This is an awesome shot. Let's just move back here so I can show you the plot where my parents are living. I'm up in 64 meters height, so there should be absolutely no chance of colliding with anything other than stuff that's flying up there, of course. So let's see. So. The plot where my parents are living, that starts in this intersection between these two, there where the, where the, where the trees are starting, like this area there. And it goes to the other side here, to where this water inlet is. It's been in the family for many, many, many years. And uh, my far grandfather, he was actually a gardener. Is it called a gardener? He was growing veg vegetables, selling those to, uh, to people in the market. And all those were grown on this plot of land. So every year he was harvesting stuff and then he was taking his car and uh, riding out to a fair that is uh, close by here and selling all his stuff. It's a really, really nice plot and it's positioned very nicely close to the water. And it's a wonderful sunset here. You might recall that I sometimes film a castle and uh, the castle is actually located down there at the end. Maybe we can even see it if we go high enough.
the plot that's down there. Oh, uh, da, 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 da. it's too high. Like that. It's just trying. I can't show you that. But down there, that is where the castle is located in this area down there. That's too far for me to fly down there. Let's just try and switch it into sport mode. Take it for a little spin. It's funny that the, the gimbal jumps every time I do this. Ah, no. I think we are turning back. Just call me chicken, but uh, this is the law or the rules that we need to keep an eye on it. Oh, the birds. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's see if you can see the birds. There's a ton of birds over there. Ooh. I would not go too close, but still. Let's just try and... You see them? There's a ton of birds down there. That's not a place where you want to be. if they decided to take off into your props. <laughs> so, so we better keep a okay safe distance here. So let's just back off. So what do you think about that? What do you think about this kind of videos uh, where I just take you out for a small uh, flight? It's, uh, some would say it's easy content. Hey, this is so beautiful. I'm sorry guys, I just need to film this. This is so beautiful. Where the sun is uh, mirroring into the surface. Oh, now we have low battery warning. Oh no! How low is that? 25? Ah, we can go, we can squeeze it a little bit. Yeah. Oh, where are you? Where are you? Battery, battery, battery. There. Let's just crank it down to 15. So. Okay, so 15, that's enough. We just keep it close. We just keep it close so nothing happens. Oh, I need to somehow frame this. <laughs> So just position the drone here. Hey, man, that looks good. Just need a few raw photos of this, so I'll just stop the recording. And then switch this into... Look at this! Let's see what are we taking here? Image size, uh, style, white balance, uh, da -da 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 -da. photo, A, B, that's nice. Uh, yeah, we can always do that. A, A, Bs are always nice. Two more. And maybe I don't like the picture format. Let's see, three, two. What can we do there? What can we Oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> What can we do that? Yes. I need to keep my hands down here so we can see what's going on. So let's see, multiple, that's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe we should. We're running out of photo time, so let's AEB5 just for the sake of it. That would be an awesome photo. And I always remember that uh, you can use both the uh, RAW and JPEG. Nope. So let's maybe go out here a little bit. Like this. Just position the sun. Oh, now cancel. Dang. 
that's nice. So now we are returning home. Just switch it here into video mode. Start the video recording. You see now we are getting into so. So now it's over land. <laughs> it, it did seem a little bit more scary to hand catch this one after I've been flying the Mavic Mini for a while but um, it is a really big drone compared to the Mavic Mini so uh, okay as I asked how what do you think about these kind of uh, recordings where I just fly around and uh, check out uh, the surroundings uh, I think it's uh, really nice I hope you think it's nice too and if you like it, then feel free to give uh, the like button or you know, hit the like button. And if you don't like it, then feel free to hit the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I might see you on the next flight.